Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you a recipe using yoka. This is spicy yoka chip. This is also called spicy tapioca chip. Let's go to the recipe. I'm going to peel this uh, yuca. This is covered with wax. I've peeled the yuca. Now I'm going to use the uh, mandolin slicer and slice it. I'm going to cut off the tip. These are the yucas. I'm not going to wash because I already washed and then cut. I don't want any water. Now I'm going to fry them. Pour some peanut oil. So when you see the if the oils get heated up fast, reduce the uh, flame. So you have to know when to get them out. Since uh, I did not uh, wash the yuca after cutting, it gets uh, fried faster. Try doing that way. Don't wash the yuca after cutting. Wash it first, tap it with your kitchen towel and then start uh, rising them using the uh, mandolin. That would be the best way of cutting this uh, yuca because sometimes yuca is quite hot. Okay. And if, if you do find some of them not really fried, put in the oven and a few minutes and then take them out. It has to be crispy. This is about uh, half a kg, about uh, one pound of yuca of tapioca. I'm going to do the uh, sambal. Before I do that, I'm going to, this is half a cup of uh, peanut and this is one quarter cup of uh, anchovy ikan bilis. I'm going to wash and dry this and fry. Before I fry this, I would fry the uh, peanut in the oil and I'll fry the uh, anchovy. Followed by, I'm going to chop this one garlic. Well, this is quite a big garlic and onion and I'm going to mix this chili and I'm going to chop it. Two teaspoon of spicy chili. I'm gonna add some water. Now I'm, I took up some of the oil away. I'm going to fry the uh, peanut. You have to remove the peanut and you see them like slightly browning because the heat will be still there so when you remove the peanut it will be still uh, cooking so don't take them out uh, when it's become very dark so now it looks like it's good. Now I'm going to fry the anchovy. I already washed and dried. You may remove the anchovy. I'm going to add in a quarter teaspoon of uh, salt. I'm going to put three tablespoons of sugar. I'm going to scoop away the oil. I <laughs> the recording stopped. So um, what I did here, I put some water and I put cashmere chili powder and water and I put in three tablespoons of sugar. Right. So now I'm going to wait for the uh, mixture to bubble. So it's bubbling. That means the uh, sugar is thick. Shouldn't be watery. So what I did was about uh, two tablespoons of water and three tablespoons of sugar. So this texture is good. So now I'm going to put the uh, and I'm going to stir. Okay, I can switch off the stove now. This is how we make the uh, spicy yoka chips. Try, 
share with your friends let me know in the comment don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button i shall see you in my next upload bye